Love a good rainstorm, you guys. Okay, so it was really important for me. I feel like they went hand in hand when I shared with you guys what was in um, my nightstand. It's the next day today. I totally planned on filming it um, yesterday, but mom life, lol. Um, I'm currently in my car. It's a little bit, I hope it's not too loud, but um, it's raining and the kids are um, playing in the house and so I didn't wanna disturb them. So I just wanted to come in my car where it's the only guaranteed place for silence and now it's raining but hopefully i think it'll stop soon but it's nice and cozy i went in the house and i put on my favorite sweatshirt and we're just gonna hang out and talk, have some girl talk so today i have all of my goodies over here that i want to share with you i want to grab my first couple things um one thing that i feel like i've learned the most this year is that you can create you know how everyone's like you can create the life of your dreams you can you can create your reality through repetition so to me that sounds more like not cheesy i love that you can create the life of your dreams i'm so for that but i also love knowing that you know it's easier said than done right it's like we read that quote that pinterest quote or that instagram quote and we feel like um it just speaks to our soul but then we just like let it roll out or we read that really good book but like how do we apply these things to our life and i think the most important thing that i've realized is through repetition so if you sit down and you write out what you want your typical day to look like or what you want your what you want for your life um i think checking in with yourself is so important which is um the topic of today journaling um it's so important for the soul, for the creative soul, for the soul that just wants to speak, like for your emotions that just want to jump out for, um, you know, I read something this morning along the lines of like, don't overshare. I'm such an overshare with like the people closest to me. Don't overshare like parts of your life. Like that ruins the magic of it. Like keep the privacy. And there's so many conversations that I have and I'm like, oh, I wish like I didn't, I don't know if it's like a nervous thing or, or what, where you just are like, meh, meh. but I think like that's what this is for. And it doesn't have to be secrets or it doesn't have to be like, you know, your high school journal or your middle school journal or and all of your deepest darkest secrets but i think it's just so important to find a way to connect like this is something that is going to be so essential i know i told you guys on the nightstand i was reading the book on homeschooling like this will be a part of our morning routine and i think to create the life of your dreams the one that you work so hard to but you just feel like you're already just in a routine you have to you know create your reality through repetition and it's hard it's not easy it's a part of growth but it's so important and it's so essential to do the things that you want to do um and that's what i have been up to this last year and i feel so grateful to have had life slow down and stop for a bit um amongst the chaos and whatever is to come but this is so grounding it's so important to um connect with yourself and connect with your feelings you know and check in like it's it's a check-in it holds you accountable to checking in with yourself where you're at what are your hopes and dreams we're always evolving we're always growing who i was for the three years of my life when i found the studio i thought that i was gonna live and breathe that for the rest of my life and here i am now in a completely different place and i'm a different person and i want different things and that's gonna happen next year and the next year and whatever else you know whatever other season holds for us but so i wanted to talk to you about journaling so the first um i always when i was younger had the journal that you'd get at claire's with like the little pocket um the little pocket the little um key key and you would put in the key and you could have like best friend ones and i would have them all the time ever since we moved here that has been a really big part of my life and i do want to be really honest that it's not every single day like sometimes i fall asleep with the kids or sometimes we have a chaotic morning you know especially with children you don't really know how your mornings are gonna go you don't really know you know my kids wake up around the same time but sometimes i'm tired and my body needs more sleep sometimes i'm ready and i'm motivated and i'm up and out before them and I already had a cup of coffee you know and it's just how it is and I think being gentle with yourself and with the process is really important just with everything not just journaling but um, so this I saw you know everybody has the five-minute journal anyone that journals 
um, it's a great place to start. We're going to talk about it. But when I was on Instagram or on um, Amazon, obviously, I saw this one. Um, I love this. So it's called the Gratitude Sidekick Journal. And you already have everything that you need to be happy. And that is so true. So true. Um, so the first good chunk of it is explaining the process and why it's so important to journal. And it really, it really um, breaks it down for you. And to me, there's nothing like the physical touch of a book and what it means to like your handwriting, which is like nobody has that. Or um, using your favorite pen and putting it on paper and just, and just, this is like the perfect atmosphere for this. Um, vlog and just like as you can see like I don't know this is just you know my brother told me the one day he's like that book that you have sitting on the kitchen table open it and like let all of the magic come out of it like that's somebody's that's somebody's artwork you know um or I remember he had a hoodie and he was like yeah this was $150 and I'm like what and he's like this is somebody's artwork like this was somebody's idea that they brought into fruition like that's why Kanye West is like you know his ugly shoes that everyone think that thinks are ugly um that's why they're 300 dollars because it's art like it starts you know and, and, and you have to have an appreciation for art and so that's how i feel about books and this is your artwork like this is your piece and so we were always told that you can build any habit in 21 days and i think that it's a really good goal but in this book it talks about how 66 days and i love how it talks about like um why gratitude matters uh, how practice gratitude how practicing gratitude changes your life um what you gain from it the greater good science like that backs this and i mean i can go on forever i could show it for you guys but um why they created this journal so i thought this was a really really good start um for me because it asked more specific questions and so on one side Let's go to like a blank. I think I have the last one. So um, I'll go to one that I have. So like on one side it will show like here's day 63 that I missed. Um, but th this is another thing like on days that I missed I would do it in my head. Like if I was already laying in bed and I felt like I was going to fall asleep and you know I would tell Mannix you know, we'd have our conversation we'd get quiet and I would just list the three things that I'm grateful for which is not exactly what's on here but I, you can still, you don't have to have it, you know, just try to feel that way. And I feel like a lot of this stuff is getting ahead of you spiraling. For me, I know when I'm about to spiral. And so if I set myself up for success by reminding myself that what I'm spiraling about is silly or that it's okay to spiral, we're humans. Like, um, so on one side, it will show you, it will say the day. So like this is day 63 and it'll give you like a prompt. So it'll say, Find a quiet area where you can do this in private so that you can be at ease. If you can't find a private space, say this in your head while pretending you're screaming it from a mountaintop. Think of a time when you felt absolutely powerful, when you felt on top of the world. Tap into every emotion that you had at that moment and get yourself into that state right now. How were you feeling? Powerful, unstoppable, strong, incredible, get into it now. Now feel your intensity tenfold. Say this with deep passion. I'm excited for others and their success and celebrate with them wholeheartedly. I know that surrounding myself with success will only further breed my own success. I attract potential, prosperity, and achievement because I am open and secure in myself. So repeat this one more time. And then it has a um, quote, it says, fear comes from uncertainty. We can eliminate the fear within us when we know ourselves better. That's pretty um, a good one for the time we're in now. So then on the other side, you can see, I think, you have, look at me peeking out. <laughs> okay, so on the other side, you write the date and then it starts with a quote. I accept that I do not have the ultimate control. I will release the reins on feeling that I alone have the ability to change others. I can only change myself, which is like, oh, take ownership of, of your life, especially again. Again, this is just speaking to the time. Like everyone's so worried about everyone else right now. And it's like, 
let's just do what we can do and what we can control and let everybody else do their thing. Um, so on here it says, what am I grateful for today? Then it will give you an optional theme. So if you can't think of something that you're grateful for, it will say my own talents and abilities. And then you can write things that you're grateful for. Hype yourself up. Like we need more of that. We need more of like, um, what message do I need to remind myself today? So if you're having a great day, maybe then there you write like, I'm so grateful to be in such a great place in my heart, in my head, and in my soul. And um, I'm proud that I'm doing the work. Or you can say, you know, today's a really tough day, but I'm going to try my best to continue the process of doing doing the work, you know, or you have to interpret it into your own. And then in what ways do my perceived ideas of who people are affect my relationship, right? So you already know how you're feeling when you're around certain people or you know, you know, a lot of times you can feel judged or you know that maybe you guys don't have the same, you know, wants out of life or you don't have the same you know you just don't have that connection so you know what you're getting accepted into that and so i think that's a really good one because we already like know all of the answers like we already we know when we're putting ourselves in these situations and i think this is like a good check like in what ways do my perceived ideas of who people are affect my relationships so if we already perceive people to be a certain way or they make us feel a certain way when we're gonna put the defense up, you know? And so I feel like this is a good check. Like, who's in my inner circle? Like, who do I need to continue to have? Who do I need to leave behind? Like, things in that way. And I think too, like, when I answer these, I think of myself too, I'm like, I could be better. Like, I could do better. I could listen more. Or why didn't I listen more? Or maybe they weren't looking for that. Or, you know, not everybody wants a TED Talk. Or, you know, whatever it is. Um, and the next one is, how can I remove guilt from my life? And I think that one is so important because we all hold guilt for so many different things mostly for judgment when we need to just like let go of others judgments and not you know there's so many things that I feel like I walk through in my life where I feel good in them and I feel secure but then the judgments of other people you know may bring me down or hold me back and so again this is a good reality check and so I feel like these are so guided it's not the same thing every day like it really asks you to get to the root of what's going on um, and then this is my favorite part about this journal is mini gratitude action for tomorrow the next time you see an animal today think of how they have contributed to the world how does that continue even after you see them and that's so beautiful one of the first ones was write a letter to somebody that you love and tell them like what impacts they had on your life and so I hand wrote a letter to my mom and I thought it was I know that she appreciated it, but I appreciated it that much more because it just was like, she'll have that forever and it was on paper and I poured my heart out to her on like things that she did that I don't think that she even realized that meant so much to me. So that's where I started with this and I like to say I completed that one because like I said, I would do it in my head, but I probably should go back and finish the couple that I didn't do. Then I upgraded myself to this one and when I mean upgraded I already had it so I wish I want to say like this is so pretty and cool but like this one is I like this one better I'm not gonna lie um the looks of this one is just better and I already had it um so for this one I already showed you guys in the nightstand this one's a little more difficult for guided because it's just like what am I grateful for I'm grateful to wake up this morning. I'm grateful for the sky. I'm grateful for the moon. I'm grateful to breathe air. I'm grateful for the food in my fridge. Like I'm grateful for my significant other. Where this one I feel like gives you specifics where you can really like dig deep. Um, not to say that you can't hear. So with this one, I wanna give you guys some tools since I spent so much time talking on this one. Um, some good tools to pull out of you you don't need to purchase either of these there's so many resources on pinterest um you can start with just like how am i feeling today and then you can lead it into you know i'm feeling a little bit insecure you know everybody else and you just like spiral you know and you just like and then you like let it all out and you realize like oh my gosh like I said, there's so many different prompts that you can get on Instagram, on TikTok. I'm sure I'm not on TikTok. I think I have a TikTok, but okay. So one of my favorite things that I do when I'm doing my morning routine are these affirmation cards. Gabby Fernstein, I think that's how you say it. She is like the guru of meditation, spirit. She has really good books. I read, um, 
the spiritual attractor, I think, last year or year. I don't know, a year or two years ago. It's all just the same now. Um, and so she has super attractor. She has these cards. And I like to just like really, I'm like a mixer of her. I really mix them up and then I'll just pull from the middle, whichever one feels right. I am in awe of the magnificent guidance that is available to me. And so you can use this as a prompt or you can use this just to start your day. It's such a good reminder. I feel like 98% of the time that I'm doing these exercises, I feel like I'm hearing exactly what I need to hear or it's a great way to start your day or um, like here, when I am connected to spirit, I feel a sense of certainty, magnitude and ease that I have never known before. And it's just like a nice little reminder, a nice connection. You can use that as a prompt. You can go buy, you can use a piece of computer paper. You can go and buy, I have literally 15 of these notebooks. They have like 99 cent notebooks. Like you guys, this stuff doesn't have to, you don't have to spend a ton of money. Um, I also, when I was in my Barnes and Noble, um, I also have a super attractor journal that I write in. I just will write like certain things that I'm manifesting and things that I believe and it's really good to look back um, you know like I wrote here I'll just share like something not super personal but I wrote on January 25th I wrote today I'm grateful for my mother's knowledge I'm grateful that she never makes me feel as if I'm ju being judged for recognizing how I want to show up in this world who and what I want to surround myself with my babies, the joy that they bring me. I wish that I had the words. Um, you know, little notes that I had. Just like whatever. Um, you know, here I wrote. I am alive. Thank you, Jesus. I am God's child. My spirit is joyful, grateful, peaceful, present, hopeful, light, love, and compassion. So it's like when you put these on the piece of paper and you say these things instead of like, I am tired. I am tired. Like think about like when you wake up and you're like, I'm tired. I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. And you just like, you talk yourself into it. So you can talk yourself into it or you can talk yourself out of it. I think, you know, again, it's just like practice from the get-go you know I look at my children every day and I'm like they're practicing like true gratitude in every moment because they don't know the evils of the world yet and you know it's only a matter of time before they do and so I want to it's important for me to model for them like what it takes to practice these and make these a routine and have them like embedded in you know in your soul and it, it's also a reminder of how far you've come because we never give ourselves credit, right? We only just like obsess over um, certain things that we're going through that we feel like we shouldn't or we feel like we're alone. And instead of obsessing over those, we can remind ourselves like, wow, I was really brave in that moment. And you know, oh, I really did learn something good from that. It's just an unbelievable connection with yourself journaling. It just, it just is. And um, you know, I understand why some people probably aren't into it, but um, I think everybody should at least try. When I look through these notebooks, I just am like, I love to write. And you know what is so funny about it is I did terrible in English in school. And now I realize, you know, like at the studio, I always used to write all the time. And I would get, people would mess it, like email me back and be like, you don't even know what this did for me. Like, thank you so much for sharing this. And I was so vulnerable, like, because, you know, I, my whole life I was just told I'm just not a good writer. And um, I, I look at that now and I'm like, by what definition? Like, what definition, you know, maybe I could have, if, if I was told I was a good one, you know, why do, why are we told we have to write in a certain way for it to be acceptable, you know? And I'm glad I didn't listen to that and I shared that because I always feel like I have a message to share with the world and I'm, and I'm glad I didn't hold myself back. But think of all the people that might, might have. Um, so I hope that this was helpful, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope this was like a nice little peek into like how to get your creative juices going or that like little push that you need to start it. Like just start it right now. If you have... 10 minutes just sit down start and write it doesn't have to be in the morning it doesn't have to be at night it doesn't have to look like the perfect TikTok with the music in the background and you know like remember that's all just um appealing to to us and, and to look at and to watch and what the most appealing thing is is like I think the happiest people have have less 
I think the happiest people don't need the notebook. I think the happiest people can just think of it and picture it in their head. Um, I could go on forever. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next vlog.